In this video, we'll learn how to identify the different components of the uh, phone, of the motherboard, such as the antenna, resistors, inductors, integrated chips, uh, and things like that. Here we have a Samsung S5. And so we'll okay, look at the back of this. And here you see that the motherboard is actually protected. And it's, it's covered here. So in, in order to get to the motherboard, we actually have to take out the uh, take off the LCD screen to get to the motherboard. Okay, so if we take the screen off, so this is after uh, several minutes of, of removing this, uh, the screen, then we see uh, part of the board here, and this is where the, the power supply comes in. So okay, here is the uh, where the power supply connects to. Right. And here, and then we have to remove this part in order to get to the motherboard. Again, this is the Samsung S5. So uh, after disassembling this part, we'll see the motherboard. All right. So uh, here we see a few things. This is the the camera. We see here the, the flash is over here, and this is where the uh, SIM card goes into the slot. This is where the memory card goes. And then, actually, let's look at this uh, flex board. This is it's flexible. Um, there, it's usually called a printed circuit board, a PCB. And this is a flexible PCB. Okay, so if we actually zoom in closer, we can see the different components of this flex PCB. So let's zoom in just a little bit closer. And then we see a bunch of components. We see a lot of these rectangular components here. These rectangular components can be resistors, inductors, or capacitors. And you have different colors. You have uh, brown, light brown, gray. And then we see these black uh, rectangular components. These black rectangular components are called diodes. And the circuit symbol for diodes is this triangular shape with a vertical bar. So if we zoom in a little bit closer, you can see this a little bit better. So these are the these are called diodes and the diodes represent this black rectangular component. So here we have these rectangular components here. Um, so the purpose of a diode is to allow current to flow in only one direction. So in, so in the direction of the arrow. So current can only flow in the, into the left for this case. And for this diode, the current can only flow to the right. Diodes are used in many different applications, such as solar cells, um, photodiodes, um, you know, uh, applications like that. Also, to for power management. Okay. And these other components here represent inductors, capacitors, or resistors. It's it's hard to tell just from this whether it's a resistor, capacitor, or inductor. And uh, so when you're soldering the components. Um, then you know then you'll know also there is a layout for all for any uh, PCB there's a layout and on the layout it will indicate L C or R to indicate if it's um, a re an inductor capacitor or resistor so these are some of the co uh, components on the flex PCB board Okay, we, and here we see a black uh, rectangular component here. This is the chip, uh, one of the many chips on the, this uh, Samsung S5. And inside the chip, there are many, uh, in some cases, millions of transistors. In other cases, maybe thousands, hundreds of thousands, depending on the uh, complexity of the chip. Here, you can actually identify another diode. First, you see this circuit symbol for the diode. So if we zoom in a little bit closer here, we can see the rectangular black block over here, which is the diode, and this is the circuit symbol. Again, we have more uh, passive components. Resistors, inductors, and capacitors are, call, are considered passive components because it doesn't require a power for it to work, for it to uh, operate. However, these chips re require a power supply for it to, to operate. 
And so transistors are called uh, active components. Diodes are also called, uh, considered uh, Apple, uh, active con uh, components. Okay, next let's look inside the uh, board here. Pre in previous models, the back of the, well, the motherboard of the smartphones weren't protected in the previous Samsung um, versions. But because, you know, in order to, you know, uh, for there to be no modification, for um, people could um, you know, uh, take off components or something could happen to the motherboard. So in order to protect it, we have this uh, gray cover. So after disassembling this, we can actually get to the motherboard over here.